Hello family, this is the snorkeling specific section of the Women in the Wilds weekend from Stinahoning State Park. Um, I do have a much larger video going out of my full experience at the park, which was amazing. Spoilers. Um, this program, specifically the freshwater snorkeling program, was ran by Kim Lott, which thank you Kim for having such a great little uh, lesson here in snorkeling. Um, I gotta say, when you have someone who is super amped up about what you're gonna find and know exactly where to put you and your camera, it just really makes the whole thing a lot more fun. Um, so, I decided to put up just the snorkeling section for now as I edit the rest of the videos. As there is a lot of footage to go through, I think the first day has over an hour of footage of just small little clips. So it'll be a little while until that goes up, and I did have a lot of ladies curious about what I was able to capture, especially in this section. Uh, so I am going to put this up for them and also for everyone else to enjoy. It is pretty interesting to see what flies in front of the camera. I'm noticing some things here that I didn't notice while I was physically there, probably because I was looking in a different direction. Um, so, put a comment down below of what all you're able to identify throughout here. Um, I do apologize for the shaky camera footage. I was very unsure on how exactly to move around. Not that I'm, you know, not bad as... Not that I'm unable to swim, but when you're floating down the stream, you kind of get pushed in all which directions. And I must say, and I emphasize this, do not suddenly go grab snorkel gear and go jump into your nearest state park's water. That's not allowed due to this program. That is why we were allowed to do this. We do have a lifeguard on shore, as you can see from the orange life vest and the throw bag. She is there in case something goes wrong. Do not randomly jump into any waterway. Make sure you have a buddy with you and also make sure you legally can swim there because you don't want a whole bunch of wardens showing up thinking there's a dead body floating down the river. So anyway, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, as a spoiler, there is more activity at the end of this when I finally figure out how to float properly. a big old creek chub. That's what we call them.
dust in this. Is this your first time doing it? It is. I'm just like you're an expert. Just like making that flower yesterday. You're like an expert in everything. I'm pretty good. Good for you. <laughs> A crawfish just laying right here. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
I think I found another one of those rock nests. The big, big one. It's like a crater. There's a lot of good fish activity right over here. Oh, those got to be freaky under the water. Yeah, with all the little... Yeah, uh, they, they, look, little they look very out of this world. Catfish. I never have, no. I've only ever snorkeled... <laughs> 